How's everyone doing today? I'll be doing a review of a horror themed book called Horror Cinema right here. And if you have horror cinema, definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know if you have any horror books. And this is from Tashin Publications. They do a lot of good books and this one is just really excellent. Great release from them. Very nice hardcover book and oh, the photos in here are just stunning. And it has a lot of great information behind the scenes shots as well. And I was lucky enough to have this signed by one of the writers. Go ahead and show you right here, uh, Jonathan Penner right there and some really like I said really great shots in here uh, but I just wanted to show this book because uh, I think it might interest a lot of people who are into horror movies and uh, basically I'm just going to show you every single page and kind of flip through it I'm not going to go over all the details and things like that but just give you an idea of what this book looks like and it goes over a lot of the subgenres of horror as well and shows all kinds of different films and for horror movie fans I think this is a book that you'll really enjoy I really enjoyed it personally again tons of great visuals and photos and shots perfect shots in there and some cool information as well and now let's take a more in-depth look at Horror Cinema. Let's check it out. And here we go. Here's the book Horror Cinema from Tashin Publications. And it's uh, written by Jonathan Penner and Stephen J. Schneider and edited by Paul Duncan. And right here, the title, Horror Cinema, is raised up in glossy right there. So it has a nice textured feel to it and a great shot for the cover. And here we go. Here's the spine, the title right there. And the author's and editor, and the, the Tashin logo, 25 years. And then the back is just a great shot from Psycho with uh, Janet Lee, and then Alfred Hitchcock right there, and then there's an excerpt from The Independent from London. This book covers everything from a 1910 version of Frankenstein to modern classics. A good purchase if you dare. Very cool scene, or the shower scene from Psycho. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. And then, oddly enough, it looks like I have uh, two jackets right there, two covers. But, and then there's what the, the cover looks like without the, the dust jacket. And the same spine as the dust jacket and just a plain back right there. Let's put the dust jacket back on. The dual dust jackets for some reason on this one. But hey, that's alright. But there we go. There's Anthony Hopkins, there's Hannibal Lecter right there. Cool shot. And there's Leatherface. Very cool. And I uh, actually was able to get this autograph right here by uh, Jonathan Penner, who was actually, I guess he was in the Survivor TV show as well. I, I didn't, I've never really seen that, so I've seen like a couple scenes here and there, but never really watched the show. Uh, but he's uh, been an actor and a writer as well uh, for quite a while. He was in, you know, he had little roles, bit parts in like movies like The Coneheads and stuff like that. Stay Sick, Best. Jonathan Penner, so very cool. And just goes over uh, the contents and some different scenes. Of course, from Silence of the Lambs and all the different. I think my Australian friends will recognize that scene and that one as well. Dracula. Bella Lugosi. This is actually a really nice looking book. Uh, great photos, some great information here as well. Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. But I'm not going to say every uh, shot in every movie from the pages right here, but this is just a really cool one right here with uh, Vincent Price. I just love that. His facial expressions is really hilarious as well. It's uh, still from uh, House on Haunted Hill, the original. Very entertaining. Near Dark, Bill Paxton. Slashers and Serial Killers. Of course, the classic Psycho. I'm all Dr. Fibs. Kevin Bacon on there. Oh, love Man, Man Bites Dog right there. Absolutely love it. Some cl 
classics. M, just a kill. Stepfather. Campbell's Freaks and Hillbillies. Michael Berryman from The Hills Have Eyes. The Cabin of uh, Dr. Caligari. Classic right there. Family of the Opera. Freaks, which is really cool. And it shows how they got the, the overhead shot, the dinner table. Now this doesn't actually have to be covered up, uh, it follows the YouTube guidelines for artwork. And uh, art. Basket case. Revenge of nature and environmental horror. I'm not sure if really King Kong falls under that. I think he'd be more of a, a monster or something like that. Although, you know, he's a big giant ape, but... I think of nature, I think of, I don't know, different things like actual plants and trees. The classic scene right there. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Alligator people. Bugs, love it. Them, eight-legged freaks. Godzilla. Squirm, prophecy. Kremlins, interesting that this would be in, in that section. Sci-fi, science fiction horror, love it. And you have the thing from another world over there, uh, original, and then you have uh, John Carpenter's the thing, and pumpkin head. Ah, uh, just some classic shots in here. Space Jockey. The Fly Remake. Shivers. Cronenberg. Eyes Without a Face. Oh, man. So many great movies in here. The Living Dead. Gonna kind of grow through this a little bit faster because this is gonna be a long video. Ghosts in haunted houses. This is definitely a great book. Tons of information in here. Great shots. Classic movies in here as well. Chinese ghost story. Definitely a book I would highly recommend for horror fans. Possession Demons and Tricksters. The Bad 
that seed. Of course, that classic shot from uh, The Exorcist. Love that. Voodoo Cults and Satanists. I walked with a zombie. Suspiria. Society. What a crazy whacked out movie. Really, you only watch the movie Society for that ending crazy morphing orgy scene. There's the butthole face. Vampires and werewolves. Classic. Greatest transformation scenes. The monstrous feminine. Carrie. There's Steven Spielberg on top of the Jaws shark right there. And the filmography right there. Bibliography, copyright, all that good stuff. And that's it. Each book is crammed with stunning visuals of iconic images and behind-the-scenes moments. Definitely. And the front cover is from Nosferatu, 1979. So there you go, there's the book Horror Cinema. If you ever wanted to see what it looks like, now you know. Tons of great iconic images in there, uh, beautiful photographs, some cool behind-the-scenes information uh, and shots as well. Definitely a, a must-have for horror movie fans. Highly recommend this book. So there you go. There's a more in-depth look at horror cinema. I just figured this would be kind of a cool thing to take a look at. And again, I really enjoy this book, so I figured I would share the information along with other people out there who I think might enjoy it as well. Again, uh, just a really stunning book. It's 192 pages, and it's just really a must-have for horror movie fans. Uh, definitely one I highly recommend. If you have horror cinema, definitely let me know what you think of this book, and let me know if you have any horror books. Leave me a comment or a video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.